Two members of an Arizona school district's parent council decided to go after their district for hiring an event DJ. They were having a charity event. They hire a DJ who they thought was dressed in blackface. But it turns out that no, he wasn't dressed in blackface. He was actually black or is black. And this is where the twists and turns come because you would assume that if you're an advocate for diversity within the school district, you would apologize, walk back your statements. But that is not what happened with one of these individuals. So first, some context. Stuart Roden and Jill Lassen, who specialize in diversity, equity and inclusion, attack the Scottsdale Unified School District's Hoppy Elementary PTA for hiring Kim Coco Hunter to host their event. After the fundraiser, Roden and Lassen who mistook Hunter for a white man in a racist outfit, complained about the racist incident to the school's principal and the head of the PTA who later clarified, Hunter's actually a black man. Hunter wore a disco inspired attire at the event complete with roller skates and a shiny golden shirt. So there he is, you know, very festive, having a good time. I don't know why they thought it was a person in blackface. Now, after the pair's false accusations, Hoppy PTA head Megan Livingood, that's a great last name, Livingood, uh, responded to Lassen and Roden that she was deeply offended by their email. Livingood said, the Scottsdale Parent Council is an organization that claims to encourage diversity and inclusion, accusing the Hoppy PTA and myself for hiring a DJ that participated in racist behavior is absolutely against your mission. Living Good added that the DJ that the PTA hired was in fact a black man. Now, one of these individuals did apologize and that's Lassen. Lassen is a librarian, she apologized profusely in a follow up email writing quote, you are right, we should have reached out and inquired before making such accusations. I cannot fathom the hurt, anger, frustration you felt after you and others volunteered countless hours on your event. Again, again, I truly apologize, I hope that you could find it in your heart to forgive me and not harbor resentment toward the Scottsdale Parent Council. So look, that is a real apology and you know, hopefully she understands the mistake that she made, she doesn't make it again, okay? But Rodin is a different story. Rodin has decided to double down, which is amazing to me, okay? He wrote this, let me be clear, a black man apparently in black face is an entirely different discussion than a white person, however, I did not state that the person was white. It was assumed that was my intent, and perhaps it was. But uh, perhaps it no, was. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. Perhaps it was. Stuart Roden is incredible. It gets worse. Perhaps it was, but nonetheless, looking on his Facebook page, it seems at the very least he is in a darker makeup, if not blackface. Or am I completely mistaken? And it's not the highlighting, or it's the highlighting. Or I'm sorry, it's the lighting of the patio. So he's arguing. You know, he's a black guy, sure, but it does look like he's wearing makeup that's too dark for his complexion. Which by the way, it is it is actually a painful thing that women go through. I experience all the time when the summer months later transition into the winter months and my makeup is too dark for my complexion at that point. And then, you know, someone inevitably tells me, yo, you gotta switch up the color of your makeup. It's a little too dark, right? Yeah. I mean, does that mean I'm wearing blackface? Like No, no. Look, right now, because my forehead is Middle Eastern and it sweats a little bit. If you saw the pocket chip challenge, you saw it sweat a lot. I have makeup on, I do every day. I just put it on here, right? So that it doesn't sweat as much, it doesn't shine as much. Okay, that's what almost everyone on air does, right? And the makeup I use is brown because I'm brown. Did I do brown face? No, I'm not entertaining this conversation. This is insanity, okay? so. And Roden's like, ah, well, you know, I didn't say he was white. Maybe that was my intent. No, dude, perhaps, that was your intent. Perhaps come on, it was. Come my on, come on. Just say it. Just say it. So, look, is there some truth to the people who are in the inclusive business of being obsessed with who's hired and who's not hired, right? And pointing that stuff out because that's their wheelhouse. That's kind of their job. Now, the thing is, is there enough racism in the country where you don't have to go and make up absurd stuff? Of course. So you might be wondering, wait, aren't you guys a progressive show? Yes. 
okay? And progressives don't make up clownish things. No, progressives- We care about facts. What they did was super insulting to the black DJ. Exactly. The argument here is, oh, that guy looks so ridiculous. Like they're talking about how ridiculous he looks and and saying like that can't be a real person. He's 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 wearing blackface. Like it's so insanely insulting and embarrassing, right? And anyway, um, but I do want to give you one more quote from Stuart Rodin. He says, "So there's, so here's what I want to say. I apologize to dude for the implication. Look, you you should not have this role. Like you you are not fit for this role. Who talks like I apologize to dude for the implication, but the sentiment still stands." Blackface by anyone in this day and age is problematic. I also apologize to folks who reposted and made other statements based on my assumption. Yeah, 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 this is the worst apology I've ever seen. It's not an apology at all. It looks like a right wing apology. Uh, you know, I don't apologize for using the N word because that's blah, blah, blah. I mean, yeah, it, you no, know. it's crazy. Okay, so uh, look, so you might be wondering why the different reaction between Jill Lassen and Stuart Roden? They're, uh, in the same line of business, they wrote the uh, comment, uh, the wrong comment uh, together in the beginning. Well, Jill Lassen is white, so since she's in that particular line of work and she's insulted a black person, since she's white, she's like, oh no! She's like, I'm so worried about the hurt, the anger, the frustration. Oh my God, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Right? Whereas Stuart Roden is black, so he's like, Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So that's why Stuart's like, Oh, yeah, the dude, yeah, because he's down, right? And <laughs> oh, come on, Stuart, come on, okay? Uh, and just <laughs> say you made a mistake. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, it's, it's, anyway. You know, and the thing that bothers me is this like culture of like being hyper focused on finding wrongdoing to condemn it. Yeah. Right? Like that's, that's their the, whole thing. It's yeah. like there it's a charity event. Like nothing wrong is taking place. It's a charity event for a school and they're like looking for something. Like what can we complain about? What can we paint as racist? And so there, that DJ. Uh is he black? We don't know, but we're going to accuse him of blackface. Like maybe do a little bit more of an investigation before throwing out these kinds of allegations against people. But if every look if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Yeah, and so the the maddening thing about this is that there's tons and tons of racism in the country, and including in the school districts. I mean, we just did a story earlier in today's show about how Florida's banning math textbooks for having critical race theory in it, which it most certainly doesn't. Okay, so let alone police abuse, let alone a million things, right? So. We're not right wingers. We're not like, oh yeah, that proves that there's no racism and they're all making it up. Absolutely not. There's actual racism and tons of it. But these folks, they think, nope, nope, nope. I got, I got to go and dig and dig and dig and dig. You don't have to dig. There's plenty all around. Actually, attack the real problems at hand, right? Attack the systems. And, and the problem is that if you go to attack the systems, you're going to run into Democrats, okay? And the Democrats tell you, don't actually do anything. Don't actually do police reform. Pretend you're doing it, but don't do it. Mm -hmm. Don't raise the minimum wage, even though 47% of black folks in this country make less than $15 an hour. 40% of women make less than $15 an hour. That would actually help them. Don't do that, don't do that. Our corporate donors don't want that. So make up something about a black DJ and how he's doing blackface. We'll all have fun, right? No, it's not fun, it's ridiculous. And I don't care how you're earning money, do your actual job. And by the way, if you're in education, you should check first. Yeah, for real. Right? So, look, if all they had done was say, that is so stupid of us, our bad. It's, it happens, people make mistakes, right? But no, Stuart Roden had to go and double down and say, I don't care that he's black, I'm just gonna call everybody racist. By the way, you're not helping, nope. you're definitely hurting the cause. Because you look like a jackass, and then every right winger will point to you and go, "Yeah, I see, that's how all the left wingers are," and yeah. it's not true. And we're here to tell you it ain't true. Okay, do do your actual job instead of trying to dig up stuff for your own benefit. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. 
you got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.